They have never seen combat, but these are the faces of our greatest conflict. Three women, who now are at the same Hanover Assisted Living Facility, served in the military during World War II, challenging 1940s stereotypes. Back then, women had to have their parents' permission to enlist in the armed services. Muriel Pikelick had a very personal reason to get involved. My, my brother had been wound, wounded in the war in the Pacific. And, and I, I wanted to be... I wanted to be par part of everything where, where, I, where I could help my, my country and, and, and be there for my brother. Muriel met her husband, Louis, in the service. This is their wedding picture, the first day of 66 years of marriage. Barbara Easton met her husband in the Navy, where she was a code transmitter. Barbara was one of the first to know the war in the Pacific was over. I was working in the coding room, and of course that code came through that they surrendered. So I was able to find out sooner than it got in the newspapers. Or <laughs> Arlene Gerstenberger was an orthopedic nurse who treated wounded soldiers when they came home. There was not much to do except private duty, and I wanted a little adventure, I think. These women remind us that it was a united effort in a global war. I have no regrets. I was treated well. And I, I tried to do my job just as good as I could. The D-Day anniversary reminds us that victory or defeat hinged on sacrifice and bravery seven decades ago. And everyone played a part. In Hanover, Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.